Let's start by texturing the wall, which has a wall covering. Open the material editor and with the eyedropper tool, select the wall. Go to the modifier element and select polygon material ID and set it to 1. Select the area that we want to have the wall covering on and change the material ID to 2. In the search tab, write multi sub object and drag and drop to the material editor scene. Assign current material for the wall to number 1 and wall covering to 2. To make the wall covering texture, select the texture from folder and add it to the diffuse map. Assign black and white version to the bomb, set glossiness to 0.5 and then assign multi sub material to the wall. We should now add the UVW map to the wall. Next, we'll want to model the partition that separates the closet from the bed. To do that, let's create a box with the length and width shown on the floor plan and height of less than 9 feet. Select these two polygons and insert to 4 cm and delete. Then bridge open areas. Make another small vertical box in between and a small horizontal boxes for both sides. To apply texture, we'll go to the material editor and get a corona material. Select texture for that and assign it to the diffuse width map. And with color correction, we'll do some adjustment and the saturation. And black and white one to the bump. We need to fix the UVW map by applying that from the modify panel and changing the direction of textures on some polygons by copy pasting UVWs on edit poly, as we did earlier. After doing that, we need to instance this partition for the other side. We have an additional piece on top of these two partitions to attach them to the ceiling. We'll make it with a box and use a dark gray texture. Now it's time to merge the furniture. Most of the furniture that we have in the suite were downloaded from the 3dsguide.org. Go to the file, import, merge and select the folder, select all and hit OK. Start placing them in the scene. We have a mirror behind the shelf. We can accomplish this by getting a box and convert it to editable poly and moving it behind the shelf. For material, we're going to use corona material with diffuse of black, reflection of 1, and fernel IUR of 999. Now we are going to create the foyer. In the foyer, we have a wall panel with a mirror and shelf mounted on that. First, we'll model the wall panel. We'll create a box with the same size of the wall and convert it to editable poly. Select those edges and connect by 42 and select all the edges that we added, extrude negative 1 inside and 0.2 gap. To make a mirror, we'll grab a box and with the approximate height of the wall, less wide. We'll leave a gap between the wall panel and mirror so that we can add a light behind that. To model the shelf, We'll grab a box and make it with the same width as the wall and using chamfer to round the edges. The total height of the shelf from the floor is 36 inches. Now we are going to texture. First, we'll grab a corona material and a wood texture. Assign it to the diffuse. With color correction, we'll make it less saturated and assign the same texture and desaturate with color correction to the bump map. Let's set the glossiness the material to 0.45. For the mirror, we'll use same texture that we made before. And for the shelf, we'll use diffuse color beige or off-white. With glossiness set to 0.85. Next, we need to apply the UVW map to the wall panel. Something like 270, 50, 50. We are now done with the foyer, and the last place we'll work on is the office. In the office, we have a built-in shelf. 
To model it, we start by making two sides panel for both sides. They are full length and different width. Next, we'll make the granite slab behind the shelves and convert it to editable poly. Add four edges in between and with extrude, we'll create some gaps between these edges. Then we we'll need to delete the baseboard behind the slab by selecting the segment and hitting delete. Next, we'll be modeling the cabinet. First, we create a box with a height of 70 cm, a depth of 40 cm, and length of the gap between two size panels. We'll make another piece on top of this cabinet, and with edit poly and selecting these edges, we divide the cabinet to six to have six doors for that. And with boxes, we'll make the doors. We have three shelves. We'll create three boxes with a thickness of seven centimeters. We have a sliding panel in front of the cabinet and we'll use the partition that we made in the master bedroom for this area and change the horizontal wood to vertical and add two extra pieces on the top and bottom of this panel as a railing. Now we'll want to apply material. To do that, open Material Editor and grab a marble texture for the slab on the back side of the cabinet and set the glossiness to 0 0.95 and UVW map 300 by 300 by 300. For the shelves and side panel, we'll set the fuse color to something between a gray and brown color and glossiness of 0 0.65 and a darker version of this color for the base cabinet. For the piece on top of the cabinet, let's grab a Corona material and in the search tab, look for mix. Then drag and drop to the material editor scene. Apply two color, dark gray, brown color, and the lighter of that for the other color and assign it to the fuse color. For the mix amount, we'll use a texture from texture folder. And with color correction, we make it less saturated. In the Corona material, let's set the glossiness to 0 0.55, Fernel IUR 6, and in the advanced option, make reflection 40. We use another texture from texture folder for the reflection map. With this adjustment, we'll have a variation of those two colors that we added to the diffuse with the texture that we have for mix and change the color for reflection to dark gray. Let's use the same texture that we use for the mix amount for the bump with the amount of 0.01. We need to add the UVW map to the object. We'll use the same UVW map and texture for the cabinet doors. For the railing, we have a dark gray material with a glossiness of 0.75. We also will have lights under each shelf, which we'll do later on. Now that we have our built-in cabinet and it's time to merge furniture for the office. To do that, we'll go to the file, import, merge, and add furniture to the scene and place them. We are done with furniture and now we need to add some accessories to all the areas. In the next video, we'll be covering render setup and lighting. See you next time.